Hundreds of people filled the convention center in downtown Dallas today to honor Southwest founder Herb Kelleher. The memorial was as authentic and eccentric as Kelleher himself. And we're sharing some of your memories at the bottom of the screen. WFA's uh, Teresa Woodard shows us the tributes to the man who changed travel. It is daunting to honor 87 years of living in a two hour memorial. We were changed by a man who lived large, but most of all, loved even larger. Especially Herb Kelleher's 87 years. He was wickedly witty, he was spontaneous, he was irreverent, he was very unpredictable. Authentic yet eccentric, absent-minded yet brilliant, the perfect character to build an airline around affordability and fun. Herb literally democratized aviation. He made it possible for grandparents to visit their grandchildren, for young families to take vacations, and for business people to meet with their customers. He changed America. The airline he launched in the 1970s now has 60,000 employees. Southwest has never laid anyone off and never cut anyone's pay. That's why so many of his admirers are employees, like Tim Childress, in a suit made of peanut wrappers. Herb was truly one of a kind in my book. Um, to come to work and not wear a mask and be like, I'm just going to be, I'm going to have fun. That's what's kept me here for 15 years. Yes, Herb had seen the suit and loved it. A bit of wild turkey. Herb never hid his love of adult beverages. Thank you. Cheers. So his family toasted him with airline bottles of his favorite, wild turkey. Even his wife of 64 years took a sip. But the drink her husband so easily downed made her visibly wince. Godspeed, dearest Herb. Please know that we are hugging you, laughing with you, and still learning from you. There could be no greater legacy to fundamentally change travel to forever change Texas. Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. Ah, oh, such a fun guy. Such what a, a fun guy. guy. Wild yeah, turkey. Definitely. Of course he was a fun guy. Yeah, <laughs> harsh stuff there. <laughs> Ooh, he used to stick with the Basil Haydens or something, you know. <laughs>